I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full-service physical gold and silver dealer. But what we really specialize in is developing custom strategies to help you survive and thrive the social, economic, and financial reset that we are already walking through. So these are viewer questions from last week, and I'm going to start with Gary's. I'm just going to jump right in. Gary Huffman asks, what's this great reset going to do to my government retirement, my military retirement, my VA disability, and my social security? As you can see, I'm government dependent. Well, Gary, I mean, I hate to tell you this. It's not that I think that all of those benefits are going to go away in nominal terms, but they will go away in purchasing power terms. You may even see the government raise Social Security benefits or some of the other retirement benefits that you have right now, but still a trillion times zero is zero. So this is why it's critically important for you to be as independent and self-sufficient as possible. So if you can put in a little garden, put in a little garden. If you can't, you know, there's aquaponics or aquaponics where you can grow up. You don't need big space. We're going to be talking a lot more about that in the future, but I think you need to look at where you're vulnerable. Food, water, energy security, barterability, wealth preservation, community, or shelter. And start to whittle away at where you feel most vulnerable. And that's what I did. It's all in layers, right? So I couldn't do everything all at once. I've been working on this hard. Uh, well, I've been working on it really since forever. But as far as the gardens and all the mantra pieces go, I've been working on that hard since 2010. I'm very, very grateful that I did. So get started wherever you're at. Just look at where you're vulnerable and start to fill those holes. Look at what happened for you in March and April. And wherever you're vulnerable, start to fill those holes, please. And Jay Fit asks, Hello and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. I am curious, where can I find your suggestion of how much of a percent of one's asset should be in metals? I believe you gave a percentage of your assets. Well, you know, I have to say that, first of all, everybody has to do whatever it is that they are comfortable doing. Having said that, I am all in. I do not own any fiat money products other than some fiat dollars because I'm running a business and that's how I pay my bills. But any of my investable wealth is in physical gold and silver. And so to give you a percentage, there are formulas that we use. If you call in and you talk to one of our consultants and they're going to start to look at your goals and your circumstances and what you have, et cetera, et cetera. And because uh, there's even a percentage of cash that you need as a line of first defense. But it really kind of depends on the individual. There is no doubt. I mean, think about where I live my life and think about what I'm constantly reading, researching, thinking and talking about. I 100 percent believe my research. A hundred percent. So consequently, why would I own anything else? I am not a trader. Yeah, I'm watching the markets go up. And yeah, I missed all that. Do I really care? Not at all. Because when things turn, you're not going to know one second before. Unless you're super lucky. I mean, that's all that is. That's super lucky. When I brought this, this house in 2010, honestly, I had no idea that this was the bottom or near the bottom of the market. Because... In reality, it should have gone down a whole lot more, but government and central bank intervention put a floor underneath it, at least at this point. However, I was in a condominium, and every time I would try and grow something outside, I'd get a $50 fee, you know, because it didn't look the way they wanted it to. 
So I need, especially when 2008 hit, I have to tell you, I said, holy crap, I need to place to make my last stand. I did not think we would see what we are walking through already in my lifetime. So that's when I bought this property. And I would have gone out, but for my daughters and my family, I wasn't going to leave them. So fortunately, though, um, <clears throat> I believe I finally have the bug out house issue, you know, resolved. That was my all. That was the hole that I found in March and April was I needed a place to go when the poopy really hits the fan. So that's filled. But, you know, that's really what what we all have to do is become as independent and self-sufficient as possible. And you need to do it now. And Darren Moore Jr. asks, if the IMF bails out the world with SDRs and within the basket they include gold, what type of disruption would that cause to the global economy? Well, first of all, they would have to put gold, well, they don't have to do anything, but they have discussed putting gold in the basket because what the gold would do is then stabilize the value. They will not do it. This is my opinion, but it's also probably the fact. They have to burn off all of this debt that's been accumulated by governments, by central banks, all those balance sheets, by corporations, by individuals, so that we can start fresh. And that's why we have to go into hyperinflation or even hyperdeflation. It doesn't really matter. It's basically the same thing. So it, it's not what would happen once the gold is in the basket. It's the disruption leading up to that. And if they did indeed put a component of gold in that basket, it would be to become the world's reserve currency. And I do think that that is the most likely outcome because it's been around since 69. So this is really nothing new and it's been used and utilized. Whether or not you and I would have access to it is another question, uh, because I think what we'll end up with is a world reserve currency as well as a local currency. So the digital dollar for us, and the Fed has talked about that, using it as uh, retail, which is what we would be considered, and wholesale, which is what the commercial banks would be considered, and then uh, this would be uh, the supply side to the central bank, to the, to the Federal Reserve. And remember, all the members of the IMF are Treasury secretaries and central bank chiefs. So Fabrice asks, assumed gold is again going to be the world reserve currency. What would the role of silver be? Well, I, I don't really think that gold will be the world reserve currency. But what I can tell you, Fabrice, it's going to be part of the currency system because governments are going to have to get the people to trust their currency once again. And so, you know, that's going to happen. But gold's role is as the primary currency metal against which that reset is being done. And when you see me doing this, it's because they're taking that the, in this country, the dollars, but wherever you are in the world, the government money, the fiat money, and revaluing it against something that's all intang uh, that's all tangible intrinsic value. This has this is you know has no intrinsic value. Silver is the secondary currency metal. So you know when we were on the bimetal system, that's what you had. And chances are we would see, and, and through hyperinflation, you do see silver perform that function again. But the challenge, I guess, with silver is that it does get used up in industry. And so with gold, we can account for almost all the gold that's ever been mined, minted, what have you. But that's not really true for silver. So Silver is a precious metal. It is a secondary primary metal. I own both. But for me, silver is more about barter and gold is more about wealth preservation and wealth accumulation. And Obed Perez asks, when do you think UBI is coming? That is a great question. We're watching that 
uh, whole movement mount with, I think I talked about this last week, with the 30 mayor campaign right now. So cities are experimenting with it. But the interesting thing about that is that where are they going to get this money from? Because cities can't just print money out of thin air. So really the UBI has to come from the Federal Reserve because they're really the only ones that can just print money out of thin air. When do I think it's coming? Well, I was I really thought they might have done it last year because it got to such a crisis level, but that's not really true. Uh, obviously, it didn't happen. But the movement certainly picked up a lot of steam. So I'll put my neck on the line, and I'm going to say, you know, and it might also have something to do, if we just kind of think about this, it might also have something to do with when the digital dollar is ready. Because then the central bank can just put it in your those FedNow accounts, and boom, you're using it. Um, I would say between, well, certainly before 2022. So maybe this year, maybe next year, or 2023, but soon, very soon, very soon. Okie dokie. So I hope you, if I didn't answer your questions, by the way, would you please let us know so that I can go in and answer them in a different way? But I know that uh, YouTube did an update. And so if you want to just make sure that you're going to get those notifications live, even though you might have switched on the bell notification before, please go in, hit that bell again to make sure that you actually get these notifications. And I just did an interview with Patrick on Silver Bullion TV. It was awesome. You know, Patrick is great. He always asks the best questions. And if you hadn't seen the George Gammon interview yet, I highly recommend that you go and look at that interview as well. But I'm super, super excited to let you know that next week, Friday, February 4th, I will be a keynote speaker on the, or I'm going to do a, a lot of questions, I think, an interview on the Gold Symposium held out of Australia. And I'm very, very excited because this is the first time that I'm doing it. And I, you know, hopefully we can spread the message far and wide. But you have any questions about this or anything else, just go ahead and send it into questions at itmtrading.com. And don't forget to visit our blog. That's where I do my blog post every week, as well as all of the links, all of the images. If you'd like to have a conversation with one of our consultants, just click that Calendly link below and set a time that works for you. If the time you want is, in, is not available, just call us at 888-696-4653 and set up a time that works for you. You'll also be able to find us on both Facebook and Twitter. And, you know, if you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure that you share this information. It is more critical now than it ever has been. Because without any doubt in my mind whatsoever, it is absolutely time to cover your assets. And here at ITM Trading, we do this with the Wealth Shield, which is a strategy that I started developing in 1987 when I started to study currencies. And we just keep making it better and better and better because you need to have a plan. But definitely keep in mind, shields are made of metal, the ones that can protect you. And until next we speak, Please be safe out there. Bye-bye.